Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of volume, specifically how we can find the volume of a sphere, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So the volume of a sphere has got a strange looking formula. So it's 4 thirds pi r and then r to the third power, r cubed, or r times itself three different times. Let's say they give you the diameter. Usually when we're trying to solve something like this, they're not going to give you the radius immediately. They're going to make you do a little bit of work, but it's not that difficult, right? So let's just say our diameter is 10 inches. And so we know that the radius is always half of the diameter. So let's cut that diameter in two. All right, so we can work with five. All right. So we've got five inches to work with here. And so first step, let's go ahead and take that five and let's cube it, right? So this is gonna be five times five times five. Now, if you're doing this on the star test, obviously you're gonna plug this into your calculator. They're probably going to give you a, a decimal here, but since we're doing it by hand, let's just do whole numbers. So that's going to be 25 times 5, and that equals 125. All right, so our radius cubed is now 125. So this is what we did, and we'll kind of keep track. 4 thirds times pi times 5 cubed. So now we've got 4 thirds times pi times 125. All right, so I'm going to use the commutative property. I want to flip these two. I want to kind of do this 4 thirds times 125, right? So I want to do 125 over 1 times 4 thirds. I think I want to do that and then multiply by, by pi. So 125 divided by or times 4, right, is going to be, let's see, times 2 is 250. That's 500 over 3. So it doesn't necessarily go uh, evenly, but what we're going to get here is we're going to get 500 uh, divided by 3. And then if we want to make that a mixed number, we just kind of go 3 into 500, and that's going to be 1, 20, almost 7, that's 6, 18. And you see what we're getting here, 166 point. It's just going to keep getting 666. So it's really it's 2 thirds. So this is what I'm left with. I've got 166 and 2 thirds, and then I need to multiply that by pi. That's going to be my volume. It's very, it's very tricky. You see why uh, they want you to use a calculator and just round it to the nearest hundredths place. So let's just do that. Let's just estimate right here. I'm going to take my 166, and even though my 2 thirds is, uh, it goes on forever and ever and ever, right? It's repeating. I'm just going to abbreviate that is 0.66. My pi we know is also in a ra in rational number, uh, but it could be represented by 3.14. All right, so once we get this, we're good to go. So that is going to be 24, 26, and that is going to be 24, 26, and we're just going to kind of repeat that. 24, 26, 24, 26. Now we've got 4, and that's going to be... 6. All right, so we've got this next row, which is just four sixes, one, two, three, four, and then that one. And then we've got that final row. We're going to multiply everything by three. So that's going to be 18. That's 19. Same thing again. That's 19. Same thing again. 19. That's three. That's four. So if we add all of this big mess up, we're going to get 12. That's 1221. That is going to be 12, 14, 23. That's going to be 12, 21, 23. That's 9, 10, 12. There we go. We've got four digits behind the decimal. So it's about 423.3124 inches cubed.